All right, what's up, you guys? This is Beautiful Light of Israel, here to show you that the beautiful light is real. And I just wanted to come to you guys with this beautiful message from the spirit realm, um, from a, a spirit that came to me. She is from St. Louis, Missouri. Her name, she was born as Phoenix Reeves, and she um, passed as Phoenix Cauldron, or Colden, I do apologize. And as you can see, we're going to go ahead and tell her story. I did promise you guys a little bit over a year ago that um, I would do this video for you all. Let me show you guys the altar that she's on. And this is Yeye Oya, Ashe Yeye Oya, Ashe Phoenix. Ashe. All right, Ashe is going. Um, let's see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you her story. So uh, about a little bit close to a year or so ago, Phoenix came to me through a video that my sister had sent me about her cold case file. And um, I watched the video and a lot of people were like, she's still alive. She just ran away because she had her situation. I'm not going to get too deep into that situation because I was asked by Phoenix herself to not bring up what happened to her. She's not focused on that. That is no longer the energy that she carries. That is no longer who she is. Um, and she has a message for you guys. So I did promise a soul group member um, that I would do this video. I'm sorry that it took so long to do this video. I've just had to get settled with a bunch of things of my in my life. So I'm gonna tell you a little bit about her. Um, again, um, when I was dealing with my Papa Legba situation and uh, I created the Papa Legba video, she kind of came along that timeline for me when I made that Papa Legba video and she was like, and this is after I received her story and I watched her story. And she was like, I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. And at that point, I had already immediately knew that she was crossed over because I was able to talk to her. And um, again, for you all that do not know, I am not a psychic, but I am a medium. So um, we have her set up here on Yeye Oya's altar. And this is, um, she's the guardian of the graveyard. She also... Um, she had nine children, therefore she wears nine copper bracelets. And this is also handcrafted jewelry um, for Aura's Epiphany. This is nine copper bracelets. If you can see between the beads, that is copper. And each one of those bracelets represents her child that she had lost. So therefore she is the guardian of the graveyard. Her colors are like a maroonish uh, color. That's like her base color. And she accepts all colors, but black. She does not take any black. So basically every color there is but black. Um, and this is the altar that we're going to have Phoenix on. I'm going to deliver her message. And then with that being said, we're going to go also, uh, have her to, um, help her to cross over. Um, she has not been able to cross over because she's kind of been stuck in two realms because of the energy surrounding her situation. And she's asking that, um, we give her closure so that she's able to move on because a lot of times when our spirits cross over our ancestor spirits and all of those things they're actually experiencing happiness and joy and um nothing like we've ever experienced before in this reality and energy is energy so what you give to the energy of what the energy is going to turn into so if she is trying to ascend and everyone down here is still mourning and they are still hurting she can't move on and that is why she contacted me um, so I'm just going to tell you a little bit more about her. That's my notes rattling in the, uh, background here. All right. So like Austin is going to hold while I read my notes and I'll just have you guys, um, you know, focus on the altar of Oya. This is not a complete altar. I know I promised you guys a tour of the altars in my home. Again, we're getting to that. What work needs to be done. We got to do the work. So this is what we have to work with right now. So what I want to do is uh, Oya's candles are usually going to be uh, red or like a purple-ish type of candle because that is the color that she takes. So um, this is also a custom-made candle by Aura's Epiphany. So we did just make this candle for her. We're going to go ahead and season our candles and um, oil our candles down right here for you guys before we get started. And we're going to give them some ashe. Oh, let me not light that. See, that was a mistake, but it's okay because it's all a process. So this is just my oil, my blessed oil, and I'm just going to put that on there and I'm going to um, put it on the oils first. And I'm just going to go clockwise with it all the way around. All right. 
right. And then I'm gonna take some oil. I'm gonna give it to Phoenix. So this candle is a physical representation of Ye Ye Oya. And this candle is a physical representation of Phoenix. All right, hold on one second, guys. Um, you guys just look at that altar. I'm gonna grab some lavender and then I'm gonna explain to you what I'm doing with this lavender here shortly. So give me one second and I will be right back with you guys. I haven't left the room. I just had to grab something from the other side of the room because we're gonna now season these candles. And then helping her transition, um, we're gonna give her some rose petals and we'll go ahead and give Ye Ye uh, Oya rose petals as an offering too. Um, most deities will take rose petals and sister spirits will definitely take rose petals. Um, a good thing for your ancestor spirits, your loved ones that have crossed over and you want to give them light, you want to go ahead and give them um, rose petals and honey. And that lasts quite a bit because the honey doesn't go bad. And you can just make a layer over the honey with the rose petals. And therefore you don't have to worry about drawing any bugs or anything like that into your home. So that just, this rose petals just represented the love of the ancestors. So this is the love that we have for Phoenix and we're gonna give her all positive energy and all positive vibes in order for her to lift herself higher into ascension so that she can live. And she's already living, you guys will find out because she has this message and it's beautiful. So um, we're gonna share that with you at the towards the end of the video. All right, so this is some chamomile flower, and this is gonna represent the riches of the darkness in this case. Because once you go into the doctor, there's treasures in the darkness. And we want her to be able to get to all of those treasures that she seeks to find over there. All right, so we're giving them both that. And then this lavender, I'm almost out of lavender. We're gonna give them a few pieces of lavender on here. And this is just to create a calm, and smooth transition for Phoenix to be able to go ahead and cross over. Um, and the, the amount of time that she has been gone from the earth physically and the amount of time that the time span that it is that she's now actually crossing over, which is right now, you guys are witnessing this. And even as I'm doing this, the energy in the room has changed. Are you able to feel that energy? She's definitely hovering over this altar. Um, so yeah. Give me one second, let me uh, come back to you. So we did now season the candles with the oil and then um, give them the love of the ancestors, the love of the um, descendants of the ancestors that are still down here. And we're gonna go ahead and spark Ye Ye Oya's flame. Let me get that going. All right. And this is uh, Ashe to her. Ashe. And then we're gonna go ahead and spark Venus's flame. All right, Ashe to Phoenix. Ashe to Phoenix. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish telling you guys about her and then I'm gonna deliver her message. I hope you guys enjoy it. The message that uh, she has for you guys, the message was really, really awesome and really, really beautiful to channel. She's actually like a poet. She was like very poetic in her speaking. The message like, is a poem. Right. It is kind of like a poem, too. Um, and I really appreciated that. When I was channeling the message, I'm like, is she spitting poetry? You know? And she actually was. She, uh, she really, really did um, enjoy music. She played the bells and the choir at her church. She played the piano, which is something that we have in common. And also, me and Phoenix are both natives of St. Louis, Missouri. So let's see. She was declared missing. Well, the last day she was seen was December 11th. I'm sorry, December 18th, 2011. I do apologize for that. And she wasn't reported a missing person until New Year's Day, 2012. Okay, so you guys got to think about 2012. That was so far away. Now it's 2020. So how many years is that? Eight. Eight, eight years she's just been wandering in between the earth realm and the spirit realm because no one is allowing her to ascend, to go to go forward, to get that, that break free. Because if you keep pulling that energy down here in a negative way, like, oh my God, what happened to her? She came through to let you know that she is okay. So she lived a very shelter life. A lot of people thought that she ran away. Um, 
she did not run away. Well, she did kind of in a sense, but it wasn't a runaway to where she felt like she wasn't going to return home. She thought she would come home that night. Um, she was born on May 23rd, 1988, which would make her a Gemini. And let's see. She doesn't want us, again, to focus on what happened to her. She needs us to focus on helping her cross over. Um, and again, we're going to do that as up now with Yeye Oya. So in order to help her cross over, she just wanted to deliver this final message to the people down here on the earth. And um, it's just beautiful. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into it. That's all I can really say. Um, and I'm going to read it. As she spoke it to me because again like I said I can hear them and I speak verbatim what they're going to say so um, she says I am no longer alive I haven't been able to transition because of the energy people have given concerning my situation it is keeping me trapped here I do not wish they continue to mourn my death I need light I made many mistakes in my life but none of that matters it doesn't matter what you do here it matters how you do it all things must come to an end in order to begin again. Like my name, Phoenix. It's a never ending cycle. Death and rebirth and then death and rebirth again. I want people to realize the only thing that matters is what's inside of you. It is the only thing that will survive, your soul. The energy that transforms out of the flame is the Phoenix that arises. That's exactly what I did. It is a beautiful thing to experience. I am so happy. I have seen so much. I have grown so much. I now know the true meaning of love. A truth that will always remain the same is the soul never dies. So with that truth, I am still alive. I urge people to open their eyes and realize that you do not live until you make the transformation to the other side. No more tears. No more crying. You were born into death, but the deception is you think it's life. You will not live until you transform from this realm and out of the fire, the phoenix that lives within you arises. You must play the game. You must study. This is just a test to prepare you for the real life that is next after this test. I want you all to give me light. That is the only thing that spirit recognizes. Those of you who don't have the light will never experience life. So be the light, hold the light, shine your light. So when it is time, we will be able to find you. Ashe. Ashe. So that was Phoenix's beautiful message to the world. And we're going to give her light as much as we possibly can. She is just a beautiful, beautiful soul. Um, she did experience a, tra a tragedy. And she's okay with that. And she wants everyone else to be okay with that. So she can just move on and do what she has to do. Um, that's pretty much all she had to say, guys. And I think it's beautiful. And I hope that that resonated with your soul as it did mine. Because it was just beautiful. You was really <laughs> tearing up. Yeah, that's, that was just beautiful. So, yeah, guys. Um, give her ashe. Give her light. No one has given her light since, she's, since she disappeared. Because... Everyone thinks that she's somehow still alive. She ran away. She just didn't come home because she was actually 18 years old when she did disappear. They did not consider her, um, you know, a runaway or a top priority because she was an adult and they just figure, hey, she just don't want to be around you guys anymore. Mm -hmm. um, that is not at all what happened. Um, just focus on doing what she said in the message, you guys, because... That was very honest, that was very cutthroat, and it was a very loving and consoling energy. And um, if you guys ever thought to want to build her a small altar in your home, you can actually, you know, check out her story. Again, she does not require that you dwell on what happened because that is not at all what she's experiencing now. She does not want to come back here ever. She's living her best life in life. She just, in real life, which is on the other side, this is the death room, this is the test room, and that's exactly what she's saying when she delivered the message. She just can't go to other realms and 
other dimensions like she wants to because there's an energy like a rope that's pulling her back to the earth realm with all of the sad and mourning and negative type energy it's now time to balance that energy out for her and give her light so if you did want to make her an altar she would take a bell any type of musical instruments a notebook a pen for writing poetry because she is a poet and um she just likes light pictures of actual phoenixes and this is the phoenix card out of the chrysalis uh tarot deck and i just use that as a representation for her herself um the just of her message was we all have a phoenix inside of us that will arise through the flames into the real life so yeah all right, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, subscribe, and share. Um, join the Facebook page if you need to. Um, hit me up, hit me on Instagram, or shoot me an email, beautifullightofisrael at gmail.com. And that's going to be spelled like my last name, I-S-R-E-A-L at gmail. And you guys have a beautiful, wonderful, blessed last year of, t I mean, last day of 2019 tomorrow's 2020 mm -hmm. and i will see you guys again with that video for the what's going on with the beautiful light channel for 2020 all right have a good night